In this video, I am going to illustrate the difference between pasting and placing images in InDesign and also explaining what the difference between linked and embedded images are in InDesign. Okay, so I'm currently sitting in preview mode and I have my links panel open on the right hand side. I have nothing, no um, images in my document and I'm going to toggle to edit mode with W on my keyboard. Okay, so now I'm in edit mode and I'm going to go to Photoshop, which I have open, and I have an image selected. So with that image selected, I'm going to copy it by Command or Control C or going to my Edit drop-down menu and clicking Copy. That places this image in my clipboard and I can take that over to InDesign and I can Command or Control V or I can go to my Edit drop-down menu and paste this. Okay, so when I paste this image in, you can see that it's fairly large. It definitely covers my screen, but in my links panel, I have no information about this image at all. So I don't know what the quality is. I don't know what's going to happen if I resize it. I have no information. So in contrast, if I go to File and Place and I go get that picture from my computer and I double click on that and I get a loaded cursor with that image in it and I click to place the image, I get the same image but this time it shows up in my links panel and I have a lot of information about that image so I can see what is going on with it when I manipulate it. So one of the things that I notice is the actual PPI and the effective PPI are both 72 which makes this a fairly low resolution image, but I also know that if I decrease the size of this image, it will increase my effective PPI. So I'm going to show you um, how that happens by um, unplacing this with a control or command Z, and then click dragging this out to place it at a smaller size. So once I've done that, I return to my links panel and you can see that while my actual PPI stays at 72, my effective PPI is now almost at 250. Um, if I were to go to my um, pasted image and resize it, I would have no information about the um, actual or effective PPI. So that's why it's not a good idea to paste your images into InDesign. Okay, so for my image that is placed, I, um, I can look in my links panel and I can see that it is a um, linked file. And so what a linked file means is that this image does not actually exist in InDesign. So if I were to email this document to somebody, they would end up with a placeholder image in place of my placed image. And if I need this image to go along with the file, I need to go to my links panel menu and embed this link. So now with this link embedded, if I sent my InDesign file to somebody, the actual image would go with it. The problem with that is that it does make the file itself much bigger. So that is when most people will um, have their images as links instead of embedding them. All right, I hope this clears up why you should not paste your images into InDesign and why you should always have your links panel available so you can see what's going on with your images and what the difference is between a linked versus embedded file. All right, thanks.